Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, what if our future isn't just here on Earth imagine a world where humans no longer merely observe the stars but live among them? A world where interplanetary travel is as common as a flight from New York to Tokyo. But how close are we to making this cosmic dream a reality? And what breakthroughs in space technology could redefine life as we know it? Hold on to that thought. Because the future of space technology isn't just about science fiction it's unfolding right now, and the stakes have never been higher. But here's the real question, are we prepared for what comes next? The revolution in space exploration. The journey to the stars has always been a blend of audacity and innovation. From the moon landing in 1969 to the Mars rovers exploring the red planet, each milestone seemed like the pinnacle of human achievement. Yet today we stand on the cusp of something far more transformative, a new space age fueled by private companies, AI advancements, and ambitious global collaborations. Reusable rockets and affordable space travel. Remember when launching a rocket into space cost hundreds of millions of dollars? Companies like SpaceX have shattered that paradigm with reusable rocket technology, slashing costs and making space more accessible. The Falcon 9 lands back on Earth like a science fiction dream come true, paving the way for affordable tourism and large-scale interplanetary missions. But this is just the beginning. The next step? Fully reusable spacecraft that can carry hundreds of passengers at a fraction of the cost. Think about it, space tourism isn't just for billionaires anymore. In a decade, you might book a weekend trip to orbit. But here's the twist what happens when millions of people want to go to space. Are we ready for the societal and environmental implications? Colonizing Mars dream or reality? Elon Musk once said, either we are a multi-planetary species, or we're stuck here until some eventual extinction event dramatic, perhaps. But his words echo a growing consensus among visionaries and scientists. Mars colonization is no longer a far-fetched idea. SpaceX's Starship is designed for long-term missions to Mars, equipped to transport cargo and eventually people. NASA, too, has its eyes set on the red planet with its Artemis program. The goal? Establishing a sustainable human presence on Mars by the 2030s. But it's not as simple as planting a flag and building a dome. The challenges are monumental. How do we generate oxygen on a planet with a thin, CO2-rich atmosphere? What about food? Can we grow crops in Martian soil? And the big one, how do we protect colonists from deadly radiation? Despite these obstacles, scientists are developing solutions from innovative greenhouse designs to AI-powered life support systems. The question isn't if, but when, but here's a chilling thought, what if Mars doesn't want us? The planet's hostile conditions might be nature's way of saying, stay away. Mining the final frontier. Now let's talk about something straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster asteroid mining. Imagine a single asteroid yielding more gold, platinum, and rare earth elements than all the mines on Earth combined. Companies like Planetary Resources and Deep Space Industries are working to make this vision a reality. But mining in space isn't just about profit, it could solve critical resource shortages on Earth. Rare materials like cobalt and lithium, essential for renewable energy and tech industries, could be sourced from asteroids instead of depleting our planet's reserves. However, the ethical and legal implications are staggering. Who owns these resources? Can a private company lay claim to an asteroid, or does it belong to all of humanity? These questions remain unanswered, and the debate could shape the future of space law. AI and robotics, the unsung heroes. Let's not forget the unsung heroes of space exploration, AI and robotics. From the Mars rovers to autonomous satellites, intelligent machines are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Future spacecraft will likely be fully autonomous using AI to navigate, repair, and even conduct experiments. On distant planets, robots will serve as pioneers, building habitats and mining resources long before humans arrive. And then there's AI's role in data analysis. Imagine the countless gigabytes of data sent back by telescopes and probes. AI can sift through this information faster than any human team, identifying patterns and uncovering cosmic secrets. But here's the unsettling part as AI takes the lead. Will humans become mere spectators in our own quest for the stars? Space habitats life beyond Earth. Living in space isn't just about surviving, it's about thriving. 
Future space habitats might resemble massive rotating structures, generating artificial gravity and housing thousands of people. Picture a city in the sky, complete with parks, schools, and bustling marketplaces. The International Space Station ISS served as a prototype, proving that humans can live and work in space for extended periods. But the ISS is just the beginning. Concepts like O'Neill cylinders and Mars-ready habitats are in development, aiming to make extraterrestrial living sustainable. Still, there's a catch. Space habitats will need to be self-sufficient, producing their own food, water, and energy. Any failure in these systems could spell disaster. And then there's the psychological toll. How will humans adapt to life away from Earth's natural beauty? The role of global collaboration. No single country or company can dominate space. It's simply too vast, too complex, and too expensive. The future of space technology will hinge on global collaboration. Projects like the Artemis Accords and the International Lunar Research Station showcase the power of teamwork. Countries that once competed in the space race are now partnering to achieve common goals. But collaboration isn't always easy. Political tensions and differing priorities can create roadblocks. The question is, can humanity unite for the greater good, or will our differences hold us back? The rise of space militarization. Not all developments in space technology are peaceful. The militarization of space is a growing concern. Satellite technology, once a tool for communication and exploration, is now a critical component of defense systems. The concept of space warfare might sound like science fiction, but it's a very real possibility. Nations are developing anti-satellite weapons and advanced tracking systems, raising concerns about an arms race in orbit. If the militarization of space escalates, it could jeopardize global stability. After all, space doesn't belong to any one nation, it belongs to all of us. The ultimate question, why? With all this talk of colonization, mining, and militarization, it's easy to lose sight of the big question, why are we doing this? Is it about survival, profit, curiosity, or something deeper? Some argue that exploring space is humanity's destiny, a way to ensure our survival in the face of existential threats like climate change and asteroid impacts. Others see it as a chance to redefine what it means to be human, expanding our horizons beyond Earth. But what if the answer lies in the stars themselves? What if by exploring space we discover not just other worlds but a deeper understanding of our own? The dawn of a new era. The future of space technology is as thrilling as it is uncertain. From reusable rockets and Mars colonies to asteroid mining and AI-driven exploration, the possibilities are endless. Yet every step forward brings new challenges and ethical dilemmas. As we stand on the brink of this new era, one thing is clear the night sky will no longer be a boundary but a gateway. The only question is, are we ready to step through? The stars are calling but will we answer wisely? The future of space technology is not just about exploring the universe, it's about defining who we are as a species. So are you ready for liftoff?